Hello, my beloved Piscean. Welcome to your prophetic love reading. Thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate and value it. If you are keen or interested in booking me for a reading, I offer any and all kinds, including one-on-one -on -one sessions with me via video call, FaceTime, Zoom call, as well as Skype. Okay, um, let us begin with your prophetic love reading um, and find out what spirit has for you in terms of your love life. We're going to open this up this reading up with a word okay from the divine with regards to your love life let's hear what god has to say he stood in the shadows admiring let the look in his lustful eyes pierce through me okay i'm gonna read that again he stood in the shadows admiring let the look in his lustful eyes pierce through me. Hmm. Okay, my beloved Piscean, that was a word for you. Okay, let's begin. So, Piscean, there is an individual here who you've experienced, okay, with regards to love them experiencing you okay the experience of you happen in a very supernatural way in their reality meaning that the way they experienced you was not a connection that they can compare to anything except it being outer worldly and outer worldly experience it was when they were with you okay when they were one with you when they could call themselves yours they looked at that title as something of like a pedestal, something to be proud of, something to, to, to look at as like a prize because they knew your worth. They knew who you were. This person never took that for granted, okay, in the beginning. They knew that you were the one that was meant to elevate them in the way that they needed spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically, okay? You were the one that was going to take them to a different realm, a different vibration on this earth. They knew that as soon as they tip, tapped into your vibration, their vibration would automatically, by default, elevate. Because they knew you were that powerful. But the fact of the matter is, as much, it's like the problem was that this person knew. The problem was the fact that they knew they knew your capability and who you were. And they knew how to play their cards so that they can be who you wanted them to be. But the mistake that this person made was along the path of them, of you being a couple, they started to form formulate negative thoughts. They formulated negative thoughts and these negative thoughts ultimately shaped their mindset because they began to start to plot about certain things. They began to have certain ways of thinking, okay? They, they, they stopped doing things from a genuine place and started doing things from a place of strategy, okay? And the problem was that, that they were strategizing with their partner or against their partner or against someone who they claim to love. And you don't love someone if you are, you are doing bad behind their back. You don't love someone if you are doing things towards that person with the intent of hurting them, okay? Then it's lust. You are lusting over this person's gift, the gift that they possess in this world and who they are. It's like... A part of this person, when they look at you, do your thing in your world, in your reality, they watch how you tap in, they watch how you tap out, they watch how you, you converse, they watch how you move, they watch how you look, how you speak. There is a part of them that wishes to have the same vibration and have the same effect and impact in people, okay? And have the same, they wish that people had the same respect for them. This is someone that could have a Mercury in Scorpio, okay? Um, especially if they are a feminine, they're very self-conceited. Um, Mercury represents how we think. 
and if they're in a low vibrational state of being as a scorpio mercury woman they can be very scarring in love okay because this person is ruthless they're selfish and they are someone that climbs on top of everyone's head to get to where they need to be okay they don't mind they don't mind playing the role and looking and playing the part to get the role but at the same time their ultimate goal is the role that's what makes them so dangerous the shape shift in to shape shift to that extent okay this person could also have a pisces north node there an ultimate shape shift that they can become whatever north node or rising okay they can really become whatever it could be a blessing or a curse depending on that person's vibration and who they are and the mindset and their character okay so my beloved piscean this person their level of thinking is not the same as yours yours is more elevated it's more evolved theirs isn't so certain things they don't think ahead in that manner or see how that could not work out for them because they solely just driven by, by whatever they driven by in hopes that it will help them attain a specific goal or help them achieve a specific likeness but there's only it's like and what this means is maybe when this person is with you how they are received in the world is respected loved catered to looked at differently looked at as evolved in higher vibration you know because of you because they with you do you see why this person would be so addicted to being with you then and not caring what role they need to portray and play to fit the little boss or whatever you wanted them to be you must be very careful you all are piscean you know Gemini rules creativity, right? The concept of creativity is created by Gemini. But the outlet, it being exalted and portrayed is Pisces energy. So that's very powerful. You have the power to to get different sides of everyone you meet, turn people into different people make them tap into a side of themselves they never thought existed or they keep they keep suppressed you know it's very powerful piscean and when it's linked to sex intimacy it's it's godly and that power can also be utilized negatively and then it becomes the enemy it really becomes the devil because it turns into a burden that link that soul tie that spiritual bond you have with that person it it becomes too much to bear it becomes unnecessary it becomes like a cord you wish you could just cut loose it's like it could all be fun and games in the beginning until hearts start getting broken lives start getting messed up okay feelings start getting hurt hearts become burdened and heavy okay that's when we draw the line that's when we we stop right so my beloved piscean this is to say that you know it's always a healthier way in doing things as much as there might be an excessiveness in doing things and wanting a certain outcome because you have a certain mindset and image that you uphold yourself to in this world there is also the world that exists outside of that image of you it exists without you without your presence you just bring your presence into the world don't forget that you need to coexist despite you being a god a goddess okay you need to learn to coexist learn that the different vibrations learn that other people are on different frequencies and have different mindsets and accept that so that it doesn't become a burden so that you don't feel the need to control it because you can't control anyone's individuality even if it's someone you thought you loved and you thought you had that power but everyone came here alone i see it
you are individuals in spirit first okay so you need to understand that i'm gonna leave it here okay i mean called to end it here this was your prophetic love reading my beloved piscean if you were keen or interested in booking me for a one-on-one -on -one session or any and all kinds of readings you find my email listed on the screen or down in the description box below i hope this helped you okay and i'm sending you nothing but love healing and comfort until next time my beloved piscean bye